From wholehearted love for God and Christ, flows love and forgiveness for neighbor no matter what he's done, contentment despite circumstance, indefatigable hope, and even eternal life in a benevolent kingdom that will be a dream come true. Feelings and people are mercurial, so having a rock of truth and love upon which, upon which one can assuredly depend is essential if one wants peace and veracity. God through Christ must be where we build our relationships and how we endure the days and nights is our primary focus and our guiding lights. Otherwise, dysfunction and chaos are inevitable. People are actually romanticizing darkness, dysfunction, and disobedience. Appreciation and love for God is demonstrated in sincere worship and obedience. It cannot be a new agey do what thou wilt, self-obsessed kind of love. It has to be a biblically based, selfless, humble, and obedient God defined and breathed love to be true and accompanied with remarkable and promise. Yes, the problem with the world is that few are truly born again loving God wholeheartedly. Sinless perfectionism isn't possible, but most aren't even trying to be holy. Exercising faith with sacrificial, self-denying, cross-carrying, spirit-feeding, flesh-denying love means salvation. Don't let the world define it. Your Creator is the source of love, light, life, and truth in their only pure and trustworthy forms. Feelings, people, circumstances, and health, again, are mercurial, so to invest our hope, happiness, peace, or contentment in any of them would be foolish. Only God through Christ, along with their truth and kingdom promises, can provide stability, fulfillment, genuine joy, and true hope. So even when things are going well, people are pulling through, and you're feeling fantastic. Just know that could all collapse on any given day due to unforeseen occurrences and the inevitability of humans to be quick to disappoint, not excluding ourselves. This is when our focus needs to jump to or remain on things unseen and the Creator's gifts, love, and promises. That's where um, one can find a stable, admirable identity and a sure eventual fruition of all our best dreams and desires. If you look elsewhere and invest everything you have elsewhere, your footing will be on shaky ground as you desperately clasp to the fleeting things of this world. Be aware that our anchor and rock should be Christ and not anything temporal or worldly. Otherwise, you're headed for a crash and a bruising. With Him, though, no matter how we feel, who traumatizes us, or our circumstance, we have hope, love, and contentment. Don't invest your peace of mind and happiness in something you could lose. Love and cherish people, sure. Just know the fragility of human life and comprehend the mercurial nature of everything but God and His promises. Thank you so much for listening.